How's it going fellow gamers? Cast Eclipse here. So today we are back in No Man's Sky and we're actually going to go over storage augmentations specifically for your freighter. So my freighter is only an A class which I will eventually upgrade it to a S class. Um, that would actually probably be one of my future videos coming up soon hopefully. Um, I will keep you up to date on that. But at the moment it is only an A class but it still has quite a bit of storage. Um, but to max out your storage, um, that is what we're going to go over today. So if you look right in here in my storage container that is inside, you have these. Cargo bulkhead, auto expanding freighter module. So this is how you max out your freighter. Um, obviously I have 34 left over that I cannot do any more with, which is kind of why I want an S class. Um, not that it matters too much, you only get a little bit more storage. I don't think the freighters max out too high. I mean, there is plenty of room anyway, and then you also have these extra storage rooms like this that you can actually add in. I believe you can add 10 of those. But, if your storage is not maxed out on your freighter, this is what you're looking for. Now, if you look right there, um, in the little paragraph that's there, it says a technology module harvested from the remains of an abandoned freighter found floating in space may also be salvaged from frigate expeditions that is exactly how you get these so if you've ever been pulsing through space and you come across an abandoned freighter one that's broken in half and they have storage things there there's a rare chance that you can actually get frigate um or sorry freighter modules for the cargo bulkhead from those um it's pretty rare the best way to do it is the actual um derelict fret, uh, freighters so the ones that actually you go in you can walk around and stuff has little bugs and stuff in there those ones are probably the highest amount and then the other way is during the frigate expeditions um, so the frigate expeditions that's actually sending your frigates out and looking for stuff and you can get them from those uh, so today we're going to go over the derelict freighter. I'm not going to go over the other two. Hopefully you guys understand when I'm explaining those. If not, you can put it down in the comment section. Let me know if you need any more explanation or anything. But to get this item out of a derelict freighter, we first have to know how to get derelict freighters. So, I already have a quite a bit in my inventory. I'm not going to lie. I duped them. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to get them on your own. So there are two ways to get them, if I remember correctly. I am kind of going at this off of memory, so um, hopefully I'm not wrong about this. Um, actually, there might be three ways to get them, because if I'm not mistaken, you can actually rarely get them from missions there in the space station. Um, another way you can get them, which I believe they have a free one here in the Anomaly. We're going to go and check, because I normally don't grab stuff out of the Anomaly, but we're going to go check. There's a specific NPC in here that I believe gives you one per day. Hopefully it's not one per week, but I believe it's one per day. Um, and hopefully I'm not wrong, but we're going to go check that right now so that I can actually clarify it with you guys. So we are going to land right in here. And we're actually perfectly on the right side because this is the side you need to come to. Oh, look at all these rare ships that they have in here two squids we have an uh an exotic over there that one actually looks pretty good there's another uh exotic right there another exotic wow pretty cool guys all right so we're gonna come up here and if i'm not mistaken this right here is the npc you need to talk to the npc i said npc <laughs> so this is the npc you need to come over here and speak with helios I believe, like I said, it's one per day, but I may be wrong about that. So you're going to come in here, you're going to talk with him, and um, you don't have to give him data plans. That's, uh, I believe you can. It's not going to matter. Um, he'll give you nanites for that. The other thing you want to do is ask about derelict freighters. So what he's going to do is he's going to say, ah, yes, uh, or ah, you heard, yes, I've acquired an emergency broadcast receiver. That is how you find the derelict freighters. You need an emergency broadcast receiver. Um, uh, he says it's yours if you wish to see the fate of those past. So we're going to go ahead and hit X and as you can see right there he gave us one emergency broadcast receiver. Now if you guys look here in my exosuit I have quite a bit of them. I have uh, 75 plus 9 so that's 84. 
I'm bad at math. I hope I did that right. Anyway, so we have 84 here. Um, once you have a receiver, you're going to actually want to go in space. You're going to want to activate it, and you're going to start pulsing through space. Before we do that, and before I actually show it to you guys, I'm going to show you guys another way to get these. It is pretty expensive, but if you guys have been following me, if you guys have been duping, um, it, this won't be an issue for you. If you're not duping, it may be an issue depending on how much money you have because they are pretty expensive. So we're going to come over here to the space station, and we're not going to get it from the quest givers. Like I said, that's pretty rare to get them from them, but I do believe you can. The other way is to actually purchase one. We're going to come right in here. Oh, look at that. And someone was giving out companion eggs. So we're going to come right in here. We're going to land. And we are going to go on the right side. So facing the outside here, we're going to go up over here on the right side. We're actually going to talk to this scrap dealer right here that's under this little tarp. His little makeshift tent we he has here. So you're going to hit square on him. You're going to open up your chat. You are going to, if you want, you can ask what they're selling. But this right here is um, how you get it. So right now it's costing me 10 million units. Technically, I already bought one because I did um, research this a bit before actually doing this. But it should only be 5 million units. So it's going to cost you 5 million units for one. So you're going to come in here, you're going to go ahead and buy it. I'll even show you guys, 10 million is nothing at the moment. So there you go, you have another emergency broadcast receiver. Now that price does go up every time you buy one from him. I do believe you have to wait for like a full day reset or maybe even jump to a different system. So now it's 20 million units, so it looks like it's going to double almost everything or every time. I do believe it might stop at 50 million units, so from there on everything will be 50 million units. Um, so keep that in mind if you guys are um, buying those. But once again, if you've been duping with me, then clearly that is barely going to make a small dent in the amount of units that you guys have. Um, so now we have a full 85 uh, receivers here. You only need one. Um, you may need a couple, depending on how lucky or unlucky you are. We are going to try and hope for our best here. Um, because you don't always get these when you're doing the derelict freighter, but it is still the quickest way to do it. So what we're going to do is we are going to fly straight out. That is our home planet called Chaos Prime. But we're going to turn away from that. We're going to go ahead and start pulsating. Pulsing. We're going to come in here and we're actually going to use one of these emergency broadcast receivers. So you're going to hover over it, you're going to tap square. And as you can see, it is activating there on the bottom right. It says listening on emergency broadcast channels. And eventually you'll get that. You will unpulse. And there we go. There's a derelict freighter right there. So we're going to come in here. And keep in mind, if you guys um, actually come in one of these and uh, it doesn't have the little creature guys, you can easily come back out to your ship. Well, run all the way through it, obviously, because the... The the, um, the module is going to be all the way at the end. Um, so you can run all the way through it. You can actually uh, go ahead and pick up whatever you need to pick up. Um, it should give you the, the storage augmentation. And then from there you can save it and um, redo it. And you can actually get more back to back. Or it, once you have the one you can obviously dupe it the way we have been doing with our items. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And I want to show you guys a little trick. I don't know if this still works. Um, it's been a while since this has happened. Since this has happened. So as you guys can see, um, this one here, right here, as you can see there in parentheses, it says active. So it says emergency broadcast receiver, and it says active. So what you can do, if you only have one, now keep in mind this is only if this works. So we're going to find out here. I'm going to move the rest of these over to our starship. So we have one on us, and it is the one that's active right there. It says active. So what you can do, that actually goes away once you open these blast doors that are inside here. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to actually take this, and we're going to place it in our personal uh, refiner here. So 
So you can see there it is on our personal refiner. We're going to find out if this is going to work. So technically what should happen is once you open the doors on the inside, that um, receiver will actually go away. These doors right here. So we are going to pick this up just because there's repair kits always in there. We're going to go ahead and open this door up. So ooh, it says access denied. Okay, so... Um, Okay, no, no, I think I'm still doing this right. Okay, so we're going to unseal door. Okay, let's make sure first that it is still in here at the moment, which it is. So opening this door is when it should disappear. Come on. Okay, so right there, it should have disappeared. Should have. As you can see, we still have it. So we can actually take this out now. We can throw it back in our exosuit. And there it is. So, once you're in here, um, you can pick up all of these little things if you want. These, uh, what are they called? The ship logs, log snippets. Um, you don't have to. You also don't have to pick up every single one of those. It is possible to get them out of those. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to run up. You're going to, oh my God, I can't even talk right, guys. You're going to want to run to the very end of the um, of the the ship here. So we're going to ignore everything. We have plenty of ammo. Or, sorry, not ammo. We have plenty of armor and everything. We're just going to run to the end of the, uh, the thing here. Hopefully we won't run into any of those bugs. Because if we do, we're probably going to have to fight them. You don't want to get swarmed by those. They can be pretty deadly. We're going to stop right here. We're going to warm up a little bit while I refill this. We're going to keep running. Um, come on, where's the next door? There's the door. Okay, we're going to come over here. And like I said, this is probably the best way to do it. Um, try to find one with not too much stuff that is going to hurt you a lot. Obviously, we don't have to worry about our permadeath because that was in the expedition and I play on normal, so that is fantastic. I'm not worried about them hitting me because we have tons of uh, armor. I don't know why this room is so empty. That's actually kind of creepy. But we're just going to run to the very end of the... Um, of the... Freighter. Ignore everything that's shooting at you. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we have one over there and one over here. Let's see which one actually takes us deeper. I do believe it's this one because that has that sign. I think that means there's a ladder or something in here. So we're going to come in here and take a look. No ladder. Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. We're going to go to the other one. I guess that's not what that symbol means. I always thought it was. So we're going to run over to this one over here. Like I said, I'm not worried about these guys shooting at me. We have tons of armor, guys. Um, even if they start uh, chipping away at our health, we can, um, we can just hold back for a second and just wait. They're not even shooting very often. Okay, so we're going to jump down here. And they won't follow you throughout the freighter either. Um, they might follow you through like one or two rooms, but that's probably about it. Okay, so here we are at the end. Now before we do this, we are going to make sure that our uh, shields are good, our health is good, everything else. It doesn't matter if it's not, but just to be on the safe side. And then once you're in here, you're going to hold square on this. It's going to open up the uh, control panel here. Um, and you're going to, right here, fabricate freighter bulkhead and there you go there is your cargo bulkhead auto expanding freighter module that is all you need from this place now that we have one we can technically go back and we can duplicate a whole bunch of them um so if you guys have any questions about that let me know um i'm going to show you guys how to use it as well just real quick because it's not like the i mean it's similar to the ship augmentation the storage augmentation for the ship but it is a tiny bit different so what we're going to do is we're going to take off back out of this we're going to call in our freighter right here if it'll let us which it won't of course not we're going to speed up just a tiny bit let's see about here there we go uh anomalous okay so it's because the other freighter is in proximity we're just going to boost so that it disappears there we go, and, oh, come on. It's still there, isn't it? Because I can see the symbol on it. Yeah, okay. 
All right, so we're gonna actually boost away from it. Okay, so we're gonna call it in here. There we go. We're gonna come in, we're gonna land on our freighter. Why is it going so slow? I'm not complaining, just asking. I don't remember it going that slow when I'm flying in my freighter. All right, and once you're in your freighter, that right there is going to create an autosave for you guys. We're going to run up here. We're going to go inside of our freighter here. And I hope I remember which one to go to. I may be wrong, so bear with me if I am. But I do believe it is this very first one right here that you're looking at. So you're going to go to your main room where your commander is at. And you're going to come right here to this very first one And when you walk in. It says upgrade control, upgrade, and customize freighter. Hold square on this bad boy. And right here you can see add additional storage. Click on that. And right here is where you would be able to use your um, your augmentation if you have spots available. Like I said, I do not. Um, if I get an S-Class, I will be able to unlock these right here. But that's why I'm not too worried about the difference between an S-Class and an A-Class. There's not much difference in it. Even a technology, mm, I don't think it lets you max out all of this. I think it might give you a little bit more room technology. Maybe this row right here. But that would actually be interesting to find out. I might have to look into that. Which, when we do a video on the S-Class, I can definitely find out for you guys. Because I'm going to go ahead and keep a whole bunch of these items. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about how to get the item in question. Which is, once again, called the... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. The Cargo Bulkhead. It is specifically the auto-expanding freighter module. If you guys have any questions on how to get that. If you guys missed something, or maybe I went too fast ask away down in the comment section let me know and I will definitely get back with you guys so what I'm doing now is I'm collecting these the reason for that is because once I do get my S class obviously I want to upgrade that one all the way and it's going to be from scratch so that means I'm still going to have to upgrade the entire storage again so it may even be more than 35 here that I need um, so just keep that in mind with anything that you guys are doing. We also still have this emergency broadcast receiver since we had thrown it into our personal refiner, or you can do like I did and you can go ahead and, um, duplicate those as well as these. So once you have that one, you can start duplicating them. The duplication glitch does still work. If you guys want, I will actually show you real quick because I'm still getting people saying it's not working. I know we've been over this plenty of times, guys. Please don't say it's not working unless it's actually not working and you actually can verify that. So we're going to throw one in there. Uh, let's see. Right now I have 20 on me. And then we have the 15 that is in here. So I'm just going to show you guys just once again real quick. So you're going to place this right over top of the other one. We're going to break this one. Look at that right side right there. There's 15 of them. If you open up this bad boy, there's another 15. So, if we get rid of both of those, you guys can see here, I have 15 plus 15 plus our 5, which was our original, and then there's another 15 here that went into an empty spot there. So, it is still working, guys. Just make sure that you guys um, are actually trying everything that you can. If you can't get it to work, once again, let me know, and I'll definitely help you guys out. Uh, another thing you guys may want to do is just because you have... Um, the max, like say you have an S-Class Freighter and you have the max amount of storage on that S-Class Freighter, I would still say hold on to a couple of these um, just in case you decide to start another save and you have a friend. Maybe you can give some of those to a friend and then he can give them back to you on a new save if you guys want to not start completely from scratch. You guys want to already have those uh, Freighter modules available to you. Um, same thing with uh, just giving them away. If you guys want to be nice, you want to help out friends, make sure you guys have extra ones of those. Also, the last thing, and this is probably the most important, not necessarily um, like dire important, but it can be pretty important. Dupe extras and keep them in a storage room like that in your freighter just in case these glitches ever do get passed, passed, patched, 
that way you do have extra room and I will say that for any item that you guys are currently duplicating any items that you guys like doing make sure that you guys are duplicating extras and holding on to them so that if you guys ever need them and the glitch for whatever reason does get patched you already have all, the, all of those items you don't have to work extra hard trying to get them um, once again if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching the video um, if you have questions like I said ask away I will definitely answer or someone else in the channel will answer you um, I asked that multiple times if you guys know the answer if you guys are willing to help each other please do so just looking to make a friendly community out of this and um, see what we can do from there so thanks for watching again and I will see you guys in the next video